It's him. The cop from the papers. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Mueller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. I don't know about this. My gut says Muller. We caught him trying to destroy evidence in his backyard, and that was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said it wasn't Muller. Hell, he probably killed his wife, deprived that poor kid of a mother. But he's not in immediate danger to anyone else. 
Rooney's a threat to every kid at Belmont. He's a peeper, Rusty. We can pick him up for something else. You really want to run that risk? Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that, the coroners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Ah, oh, shit. Up for some of the rough stuff, are you? What's your beef with this guy, Phelps? <laughs> you smack your ram a little bit now, then I'll finish it off at the station. Get back here! where I can see them. Frank Morgan? Yeah, yeah, look, it was Harry's idea to boost the truck full of fishes, not mine. I was in the bar late talking and we... Save it. You two idiots can say hello to Adrian for me. Oh, God damn it.
That's soothing and gentle on your skin. Why, Pandora is seven ways better than old-style plumbing soaps. Take a dip from Hollywood. Make Pandora your daily bath soap. Pandora lathers twice as fast. Even the hardest water. It's a luxury that anyone can get afford. Just a few cents a kid. Not bad. You better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Are they mad we're not dirty in this city anymore? I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Parker or Green? I don't know who'd be worse. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope? with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator, too? Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're lying, Hugo. You're going to have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Mouthpiece was stripped off me at the grand jury. Case was thrown out, now the DA wants my head. Hey, you think those vice boys get any on the side? I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Oh. Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. 
You really think I'm going to squeal? No way. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? You're the phone. You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. You gonna call me with something? This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't miss the place. Big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Do I need to throw this out? Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitch and braid, it stays tied. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. Did you know, Mr. Pelsey? You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. I have faith in the Lord. Do you Lord? Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy, you go ahead and try. I'll beat that rap. I ain't a killer. Ah, Phelps, Galloway. Congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. Army. Lieutenant! Well, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier. Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? No, they're beat. Why they look so sullen? They're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this, Golden Boy. I just seem to know what he's doing. Not got the no kai so to. See that, boys? He slapped that Jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese, Corporal. Respect? We're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese, Private? With respect, sir, these bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, Private? Because they hate the U.S. of A and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. 
What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars?